Here is a case study called Family Supermarket for us to look at activity-based costing and compare with traditional costing. Here are the financial statistics of the family supermarket. There are three product lines, soft drinks, fresh produce, and packaged foods. The revenue, cost of goods sold, and the cost of bottles return, specific to soft drinks product line. Additionally, we are also provided with non-monetary information, their number of purchase orders placed for each product line, number of deliveries received, and hours of shelf stocking time, and then items sold for each product line. So these are the financial statistics. In addition, there are also some statistics about the activities conducted relating to the overhead cost production. And these activities, there are five activities. The first one is bottle returns of returning empty bottles to the store. And the cost pool there is $4,800. And what drives the cost is the direct tracing for soft drink line. Second one is ordering. It's placing orders for purchases. The cost pool there is $62,000 and $400. And what drives this cost ordering is number of purchase orders. And for this estimated cost is 624 purchase orders. Third is delivery. It's about delivery and receipt of merchandise. And the cost pool there is $100,800. What drives that cost are the number of deliveries. And for this cost pool, it is $1,260. Fourth is shelf stocking of stocking of merchandise on store shelves and ongoing restocking. The cost pool is $69,120. What drives that cost are the hours of shelf stocking time. And the hours for this cost pool is $3,450. Customer support is the fifth activity is the assistance provided to customers including checkout and bagging the cost pool for this activity is $122,880 what drives the customer support cost is number of items sold and for this cost pool, it is 614,400 items. When we add up all the OHIT costs, the total is $360,000. So these are the information we have. And we are required first to calculate the operating profit and operating profit as a percentage of revenue for each product line. For the family supermarket, which currently allocates the st store support costs or the overhead costs, that is all costs other than cost of goods sold. In this instance, the cost of goods sold 
are direct costs to the product lines on the basis of cost of goods sold of each product line. So the basis of allocation of overheads is a single basis which is cost of goods sold of each product line. Second is to calculate operating profit and operating profit as a percentage of revenues for each product line for the family supermarket that allocates the weight costs that is all costs other than cost of goods sold which is a direct cost to product lines using an activity based costing systems so we're looking we're taking the activities the fire activities and we are allocating the overhead costs accordingly third is to comment on the answers to the requirements of point number one and point number two so let's look at the first one which is the traditional costing allocating overhead costs is on the cost of goods sold. So the total overhead cost is 360,000 comprising cost of bottles returned, cost of purchase orders, cost of deliveries, cost of shelf stocking, and cost of customs support. When you add up all those costs, it equals to 360,000. And the cost of goods sold is 1.2 million, comprising cost of goods sold in soft drinks, cost of goods sold in fresh produce, and cost of goods sold in packaging foods. So the allocation rate for support costs or the overhead costs is the total overhead cost is 360,000 under the traditional costing there's a single basis and the base here is cost of goods sold and that's 1.2 million we divide 360,000 by 1.2 million and the rate is 30%. So the allocation rate based on the cost of goods sold is 30% of that overhead of cost of goods sold. So let's now compute the profits and profit margin for each product line. The revenue information was given to us cost of goods sold information is also given to us and it's a direct cost the total support or overhead cost is now computed as 30 percent of cost of goods sold for each product line and when we multiply 30 percent on that cost of goods sold of each product line we get the overhead costs for each product line. The total cost is the cost of goods sold plus overhead cost and the operating profit is revenue minus the total cost. For soft drinks it is 317,400 revenue. Total cost is 312,000. Operating profit is 5,400. Profit margin is operating profit over revenue. And that equals 5,400 divided by 317,400, 1.7%. For the fresh produce, 
operating profit is 840,240 revenue less total cost of 780,000 and that equals to 60,240 operating profit and the profit margin is 60,240 divided by 840,240 equals 7.17% profit margin. For the package goods, revenue is 483,960. Total cost is 468,000. Operating profit is revenue minus total cost equals $15,960. Profit margin is $15,960 divided by $483,960 equals 3.3%. So based on this calculation, under the traditional costing approach, the highest profit margin is obtained from fresh produce, 7.17%. And the operating profit, the highest is in fresh produce, that's $60,240. To prepare for the activity-based costing calculation, we will now compute the cost driver rates for the common activities for the three product lines. The first one is ordering done at batch level. Cost pool is $62,400. And the cost driver is number of purchase orders of 624. The cost driver rate is $62,400 divided by six to four hundred dollars per purchase order. Second is delivery done at batch level. Cost pool is hundred thousand and eight hundred dollars. And the driver, cost driver is number of deliveries of 1260. And the cost driver rate is hundred thousand $800 divided by $260, $80 per delivery. Third is shelf stocking. It's an output unit level activity. The cost pool is $69,520. And the cost driver is the stocking hours of 3, 4, 5, 6. And the cost driver rate is $69,520 divided by $34,56 stocking hours equals $20. Fourth is custom support and it's an output unit level activity. The cost pool is $122,880 and the driver is the item sold and it's 614,400 items. The cost driver rate is $122,880 divided by 614,400 equals 20 cents per item So, Now let's now compute the O heads first our revenue. Those numbers are given, that information, cost of goods sold, that information is also given. Then cost of bottles returned, it is specific to soft drinks. Therefore, we fully allocate that overhead cost to the soft drinks. Then we have the other overhead cost driven by different activities and we have calculated the driver rates, the cost driver rates for these different activities and we are now going to apply 
that those triborates for each different activities and therefore it in activity based caustic the overheads are driven by various activities and those activities have different overhead rates so the first one is ordering costs soft drinks 144 orders and fresh produce 136 orders packaged food 144 orders the driver rate cost driver rate is hundred dollars and then we compute the ordering cost for soft drinks fresh produce and packaged foods delivering cost for soft drinks is 120 deliveries and for fresh produce it's 876 deliveries and for packaged foods it's 264 deliveries for each delivery the cost driver rate is $80 and then we compute the delivery cost for each product line the third is shelf stock stocking cost for soft drinks it is 216 hours for fresh produce it is 2160 hours and for packaged foods is 1080 hours and the cost driver rate per hour is $20 and then we compute the overhead cost of stocking shelf stocking cost for each product line fourth is customer support costs it is based on item sold for soft for soft drinks 50,400 items sold and fresh produce 441,600 items sold and for packaged foods 122,400 items sold for each item sold the cost driver rate is 20 cents for the customer support and we compute the customer support cost for each product line once we have computed all those overhead costs for the product lines then we can compute the total cost that is adding the direct cost which is cost of goods sold and then the overhead cost that we have now computed and that adds up to the total cost for soft drinks it's Two eighty-three, two hundred thousand dollars, and the revenue is three hundred seventeen thousand four hundred. When we deduct revenue and then minus cost, operating profit equals thirty-four thousand two hundred. Profit margin of soft trains is operating profit over revenue equals. 10.78 that is 34,200 divided by 317,400 for the fresh produce we take the direct cost 600,000 dollars and then the overhead cost and when we add up the total cost is 835,200 now our operating profit is revenue 840,240 minus 835,200 and that is $5,040. Our profit margin equals 0.60% that is 5,040 divided by revenue 840,000. 240 for the package goods the cost of goods sold is 360,000 and when we add up all the 
overhead cost the total cost is 441,600 and the operating profit is revenue minus total cost that's 42,360 profit margin is operating profit of 42,360 divided by revenue 483,960 that equals 8.75%. Thirdly, we have to comment about the profitability under the traditional and activity-based costing system approach. So let's look at the profit margins for the traditional cost allocation and activity-based costing allocation. In the, in the fresh produce, in traditional costing method, whereas profit margin is highest for soft drinks under the activity-based costing system. The total profit is highest under the traditional costing method for packaged food and under the activity-based costing it's highest for soft trades. That although the total operating profit are equal under the traditional and activity-based costing, which is 81,600, operating profit for each product line differs under the two costing methods. It's because the overhead cost allocation was different. The traditional costing use a single basis of cost allocation based on the cost of goods sold, whereas activity-based costing identified different activities and then calculated a costing overhead allocation rate based on those activities, different activities, and those overhead rates are different. Conclusions that we can make on the activity-based costing is looking at the, the results, it shows to us that the soft drinks provided the highest profit margin and makes the most operating profits. Therefore, that product line has to be taken care of well. Second, in terms of the profit margin under the activity-based costing, the second highest profit margin is on packaged food, which is 8.75%, but has the lowest profit, which is 5,040. The enterprise should explore of expanding the market share of the packaged foods.